Hey guys, my name is David from Media Unlocked and today I'm coming at you with an update for firmware for the 550D Canon T2i. Now, um, I know that a lot of people, there are things about the uh, T2i um, that you can't do that some nice firmware updates would really help you out with. Um, I have gotten, I've downloaded the firmware, uh, Magic Lantern is the company that put it out and uh, so I thought I would do a little review on it and uh, if I get enough responses I will uh, walk you through the tutorial now to update the firmware and do this uh, hack. Um, I hadn't really figured out how to do it with a Mac. I actually had to borrow my roommate's PC um, to be able to um, to do the hack. So uh, it's much easier to do it on a PC than it is on a Mac. And uh, so I, I have a list kind of pulled up with some of the new stuff that this, has, this hack does. I'm kind of kind of read through the list and uh, see what you guys think but uh, I mean it does uh, you have bitrate control um, zebra zebra stripes are amazing so what the zebra stripes do is it will show you it um, it will be red if it's over or if it's overexposed and blue if it's underexposed so you're able to get your exposures um, much uh, work on your exposures when you're shooting and uh, control it a little bit especially for green screen because exposures are uh, are big when it comes to like green screen and stuff so uh, it does crop marks, so you actually can tell like your crop marks exactly where um, you're at. Um, it does uh, trap focus. Tell you the truth, I really don't know what trap focus is. Wireless trigger with the LCD uh, face uh, face sensor and your own hand. Now I haven't messed around with that too much. It has AE bracketing, like on the 5D Mark II. So I guess the uh, AE bracketing has been then changed with this hack, so it's just like the 5D Mark II. Uh, you have stack focusing, lens data co computation, on-screen audio meters, which is great. So like when you're shooting video, um, it will actually, up at the top of your screen, it will show you the audio meters right here at the top. Which I'm actually going to uh, show you guys, kind of walk you through the, the procedures, uh, show you what the hack does on the actual camera. Um, so. Uh, let's see, uh, manual audio gain, so you're able to control your audio levels um, or turn it up, turn it down, you know, depending on the situation, which is great because uh, to do such a thing, you would have to be, you would have had to buy something called, I think it's called the Beach Tech, and it connects to your Canon T2i, and therefore you can control your audio levels with that, but that's like a four or $500 uh, item. With this hack, you can do all of that without it. You know, you can control all that right there on your camera when you're shooting video. Now, this uh, firmware update slash hack that Green Lantern put out is really geared towards um, video, in my opinion. Most of the um, features that they fixed have all made it much easier to shoot video. Uh, then it has display time remaining during video recording, which you, uh, so it gives you like a display time remaining, um, and I really haven't used that. I, I just got this, 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 this firmware update and hack just came out about three, four days ago, I believe. So it's brand new to the market and uh, it's pretty awesome. It's all free, which is awesome. Uh, and then it has debugging functions, which I don't know anything about the debugging functions. I've been told to kind of stay away from that, from the stuff I've read on the forums and stuff like that. So anyways, um, let me show you guys um, right there on my screen um, what it looks like um, when we use it. So let's turn the camera on. And uh, you can tell that I have the magic lantern right there on it. Um, one, you can see the uh, magic lantern thing here. And if you see, I've got audio levels right here. So this is really cool. So when you're shooting video, you can actually see your audio levels. And uh, as you can see down here, the magic lantern software kind of jumps on top of um, regular Canon, the regular Canon software. So what you do to fix that, it's a glitch they haven't fixed yet. You're just gonna hit your picture mode go back out of picture mode and now you have all your settings. Now as you can see I have zebra mode on right now and all these blue is this all underexposed stuff. If you notice the red here, this is all overexposed. Um, you could turn the zebra mode off. I think the zebra mode's a little sketchy. It does a really good job I think, but it's just it's it's a little weird and uh, and it can be a little distracting, but it's great if it's something that you need. Um, I think it would work great for say blue screen or green screen. Um, all right, so to go into your settings once you've installed this firmware, you're just going to hit your delete button down here at the bottom right, and it's going to give you all these settings. Now these are all the different functions that you can do with it. As you notice, you can do your auto meter. You can turn it off, of course. Um, let's see. I think you just push off, and that will turn it off. 
or back on. And then you can go in and figure out your outputs. You can also go down to the mic down here. And this is really cool. Right now it's just set to camera mic, um, left, right, uh, stereo. Um, and I think this one allows you to, this is your internal mic right here. Um, so we're just gonna go back to uh, internal. Uh, we'll go to this one, internal mic. So I'm using the internal mic, but I believe you can set up, and I just got this like two days ago, so I'm still messing around with it, but I believe that you're you're able to set up an on-camera mic and use the internal mic if you want to use both mics and you want to do dual audio. But don't quote me on that, still learning. All right, so you yeah, have your audio setting. Now if you notice, you have all your little settings here, so we're gonna go over one. Now you have some video settings. You can do spot meter, um, and you can, Zebra, see, I'm not a huge Zebra fan, so I don't usually use it unless I need to for some reason. So I'm gonna go on and turn Zebra off. Um, and then you have a bunch of other settings that I'm still learning what they all do. Just be careful, because I'm especially in the debug setting when we get down to that. I've, from my understanding, you really don't wanna mess with that too much unless you know what you're doing. Uh, shooting, uh, interval times, you've got some, yeah, trap focus, which truthfully, I do not know what the trap focus is. So if anybody out there knows what that is, shoot me a message, I'd love to know. Uh, I, I don't know what half of this stuff really is. I just got it and, uh, and so I'm just showing you guys a little bit of what I've figured out. Uh, you can do bracketing. Um, so uh, the bracketing is a little bit different than I guess the, camera, the Canon settings. Uh, focus, you have some different focusing things here um, as you can see. And then you have debugging which apparently is a whole mess of uh, I guess internal settings or something and unless you know what you're doing, you really don't want to mess with it. So that is the Green Lantern uh, 1.0.9 firmware update. Now, of course, to put this on your camera, you do need to have the newest firmware update, um, which you can go to canon.com and get it, and I believe that is the 1.0.9 update. Um, so yeah, they just came out with a new update, I think within the last month, um, Canon did. So uh, I would definitely go download that and upload it. It's pretty simple. You download it onto your card, put it on your card, and then to do the firmware update, you'll push uh, menu. You'll go all the way down here. Once you have the uh, stuff that you put on your card, you'll go to, uh, well, I guess we gotta jump back into um, camera mode. Um, and yeah, you can do your firmware update. See, mine's a little bit different. Well, 1.0.9 is the Canon, and I'm guessing this is the extension for um, the Green Lantern uh, update. So, uh, but it's pretty simple. If you're just doing your update, you put it on, you mainly download onto your SD card, put your SD card in your camera, you'll put set, and uh, it will ask, you know, required to update, yada, 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 you'll push okay, and then it will do update. Just make sure you have a full battery. So that was the Green all right, so that was the Green Lantern um, firmware hack update for the Canon 550D or T2i. Um, here are the pros. You guys saw a lot of the pros. You got the auto metering, um, you got bracketing, you've got a lot of really cool settings. Um, so you're able to make the video experience much better. The biggest thing for me would be Zebra if I ever needed to use it and the being able to control my audio levels right there on my camera. Now the downfall for this and in my opinion this is a pretty big downfall um, would be one when you install it and you do the firmware update say with Canon that sticks right on your camera well all the firmware update and everything um, when you do the installation for it for the 5D from the Green Lantern um, hack was that it has to be on a memory card and if you format your memory card you lose it and you have to go back in and reformat your memory card for the Green Lantern settings so that it really runs off your memory card, not off your camera internally. So that's very frustrating to me because I have about eight memory cards um, that I use and uh, certain memory cards like say I do a shoot and I'm going to meet the client like two days later. Um, I just don't wipe anything off the memory card until after I've given the client um, their CD. I've done two backups, maybe three depending on the situation and then I'll go on and format my card. So literally I'd have to go through all eight cards and put my Green Lantern, um, I'd have to put that the Green Lantern hack on every single card. Okay, which, which isn't too bad. But then if I format my card, I lose it and I have to go back through and do it again. And to me, um, what you get far as the hack and the update is really not worth the hassle of constantly being trying to go in or 
constantly re-updating the card so that you can use it. Um, so if you did like what it does, here's my suggestion to you. Um, I would do it to one or two of your cards that maybe you don't use too often or maybe you have a bunch of extra. Mainly I don't, I go out and purchase two cards that are mainly made for shooting because photography wise I really don't think the updates are that great. Video wise, Audio Meteor and the Zebra and stuff like that is pretty cool. So those, I would go out and buy like two cards, like two 16 gig cards. You can, you can get um, the, let's see what I got. Um, I have the 16 gig um, Transcend. Now, this card is, uh, I think, like 30 bucks for 16 gig, which is really good. Uh, a lot of people, if you go to Amazon, you're going to see a lot of mixed reviews. I have three of these cards, and I've been completely satisfied with them. Um, not one of them has screwed up on me. They've all been able to shoot video just fine. So go out and spend like 60 bucks, get two of the cards. Um, you might be able to get a better deal than that if you look. Um, sometimes you can on Amazon. Spend the money. Put the, uh, put the hack on those cards and then only use those cards when you need to do shoot video or whatever you're going to need to use um, those settings. That's your best bet. For me, it's just it's not worth it. I don't think that the audio meter and the uh, Zebra and some of the other settings, at least right now for me, they just aren't worth it. Because I always format my card after, after every shoot or after I meet with my client. That's just how I do it. Um, I don't like to go in and manually delete everything um, I just I don't like doing that but that's something else you could do is just plug your uh, SD card into your computer and just go through and manually wipe out pictures or videos that you shot therefore you don't have to format the card but formatting the card is the healthy way to do things so anyways that's my take on the new uh, Green Lantern uh, hack um, of course I'll have links to their to their um, their website so you can go download it and I'll also put a link to a step-by-step -step process of how to do it um, like I said, if anybody figures out how to do it with a Mac, please let me know because I, I, that's what I use, all Macs. I had to borrow my, my roommate's uh, PC to do the hack and I can't figure out how to do it on a Mac. It's a little bit different. So I'm very interested to know how to do that. Um, I would do a tutorial on how to install it. The problem is I don't have any screen capturing software. I don't know what good would be good screen capturing software for PCs. And plus, I just hate using PCs. They're just oh, they're so difficult to compare to a Mac, in my opinion. Uh, but I've also been using Mac for like three years. So check us out on Twitter at uh, David D Images. Dot, uh, just David D Images, or check us out at DavidDImages.com. Um, anyway, so next time, guys, I hope this helped. Please leave comments. Let me know what you think, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions.